Oh no, did somebody just call the repaint police? I heard there's been a repaint violation, punk! Somebody called the repaint police. I know there's a lot of you out there that say, Oh, this is a temple repaint! Oh my god! Welcome back, True Believers Elite Legend, back at you guys with another Marvel Legends video. And we are rapidly approaching the year 2022, so naturally, we're going to take a look back at what was the year of 2021 in Marvel Legends. That's right, the Elite Legend is going to share a bunch of top 10 countdowns with you folks over the next couple of weeks. And kicking it off is the top 10 comic-based Marvel Legends figures featuring X-Men characters. Now you may be asking yourself, why is the Elite Legend focusing on X-Men first? And the reason I'm doing that is because it appears that the folks at Hasbro had a special emphasis on X-Men characters in the year 2021. Evidenced by two bath waves, multiple box sets, and the big boy, the HasLab Sentinel all being released in 2021. That makes up for a whopping 34 action figures in the year 2021. That accounts for a suggested retail price of $960 USD without taxes. Now, before we start counting down the top 10, the Elite Legend has to open up some packages. And I'm going to go ahead and slide this Excalibur box set out of the way. Now, what you see before you are some of the few figures that I was actually able to take out of the package over the year 2021. And, of course, an entire bath wave that I have yet to free from its plastic entrapments. <laughs> Hi, Elite Legend. I'll take care of that. Whoa! Get back down there. So thanks to the lovely Marsha, the Elite Legend was able to get all of the Colossus Age of Apocalypse bath wave unboxed. And what you see before you is that entire wave. From left to right, we have Magneto, who did not come with a bath piece. We have pre-adolescent Rogue, whom had her curves flattened by the good folks at Hasbro. Then we see a big hulking Sabretooth. One half of Kid and Play, known as Legion. Then we have an Iced Out Iceman. We have Cyclops doing his best impression of Millie Vanilli from the 80s time period of the X-Men. And of course, Shadowcat. And correct me if I'm wrong, this is the first Shadowcat figure released in Marvel Legends. And as you can see... Uh, Shadow Cat is <laughs> inconspicuously without her bath piece. That is because it is time for a staple of Elite Legend toys and collectibles. Yeah, that's right. It's time for the sweet sounds of release. <laughs> wow, that was really sweet. Now I know this is a top 10 video. It's not an unboxing. Well, it's an impromptu un unboxing. But we're actually going to build a bath as well. Now, the first thing you want to do when you're building a bath is you want to grab that torso and you want to grab the head and you want to put that on first. So you want to just pop that right in there. You might have to spit on it a bit to get it in. And now that the head is in, you're going to go ahead and you're going to take this little bandana piece and you're going to pop it in. And it pops right in there. You want to be careful because it's a very tiny peg. And a very tight hole. And as I told you guys, be careful. The moment I try to articulate it, it appears to have snapped. That sucks. So now that you have the head on there, you're going to go ahead and you're going to take the left foot. Or the left leg. And you just want to pop that right on there. Good satisfying pop. Now you're going to go ahead and take the right leg. And do the same and I'm surprised at how easily it went in there. And then you take the left arm. Nice satisfying pop there. And you go ahead and you take the other one. And you pop it right in. And your Colossus from Age of Apocalypse is now complete. And in case you were wondering, he does come 
with additional hands so you could get that good old fashioned double fisting action. No! So let me know in the comments, what do you think of the Colossus Bath and where does this Colossus Bath rank in your top baths of 2021? Now, I just want to let you guys know, Colossus will not be in consideration for the top 10 Marvel Legends figures of 2021. I'm going to be focusing solely on individual releases. So we're going to take Colossus out of the way and let's see which figures are going to make the first cut. Life is all about tough choices. What we see before us are seven action figures and we have to remove three of them from the running for top 10 Marvel Legends of 2021. I'm going to snap my finger. All right. So these are the four that are going to go on into the running for top 10 X-Men Marvel Legends of 2021. And for those of you who are wondering, this white box is the shipper for the Amazon 5-pack that we're going to take a look at a little bit later in the video. Now, when the Elite Legend told you guys it was a very busy year for me, um, <laughs> I was not lying. Here we see one of the only two figures that I was able to unbox from this wave that came out early in 2020. It was from the House of X, and it was the, the hashtag not my tri sentinel bath wave you can see how excited i was about this series considering i never opened them now i mentioned that i opened two of these figures up uh, where the hell is marcia hi Lee legend i'll never leave you hanging get back down there actually marcia get back up here you're part of the wave okay i'll open them up for you whoa so here we see all the figures from the Tri-Sentinel bath wave all lined up with their respective bath pieces. And let's go ahead and through the magic of filmmaking, let's build this bath at the snap of a finger. I can see! Yeah, that's right. Getting this peg in these holes was nearly impossible and I do not want to break them. So um, we have a headless Tri-Sentinel. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of this Tri-Sentinel? You already know the Elite Legend considers this to be my hashtag, not my Tri-Sentinel. This is my Tri-Sentinel. But let me know in the comments, what do you think of it? And now from left to right, we have Wolverine. We have the androgynous Charles Xavier, Marvel Girl, Magneto all in white. We have Marsha, a.k.a. Marvel's Omega Sentinel, Cyclops. And Mariah McTaggart. And I just want to let you guys know that me and Mariah go back like babies in pacifiers. And although we go way back, let's see if she's able to make the cut into consideration for the top 10 Marvel Legends of 2021. Oh, and she did not make it. There we see four contenders for the top 10. And it is now time to unbox the Amazon 5-pack. This is probably the set of Marvel Legend figures that I was most excited about in 2020. And we'll take a look at it in just a moment. If I could have my lovely assistant, Marsha, help me out. You didn't even have to ask! <laughs> oh my god, you know the drill, Marsha. Thank you so much. Let's see what's inside of this box. All right, let's go ahead and take this out, and it is the X-Men box set. All right, now forgive the glare. Here we see the massive box set from Amazon. It is titled Wolverine, but it features five characters. Topless Wolverine is one of them, but it also features three brand new Marvel Legends. Caliban, Wingard, Cyber, and a redecoed Omega Red. What an amazing set. Sadly, at least one of these has got to be removed from consideration for the top 10 X-Men figures of 2021, and it is going to be the Wolverine. Sorry, Wolvie. This is an incredible figure, though. Thanks, bub. Whoa! Now, this is not for the squeamish, but it appears that Wolverine has cut the Elite Legend. 
And now we turn our attention to the Bring on the Bad Guys Build-A-Figure Wave that featured two X-Men characters, Lady Deathstrike and Arcade. And there we see Arcade and Lady Deathstrike, and these two figures are incredible, and both of them are safe. And moving on into consideration for Top 10 Marvel Legend X-Men figures of 2021. Now, for those of you who were lucky enough to secure the HasLab Sentinel for suggested retail price, congratulations. And I also want to congratulate my good friend in the Great White North for, se for securing one for a reasonable price of about $750. And I hope your wife is not watching Mr. Daryl Sider up in Ontario. Now, if you were able to secure that Sentinel, you know that you were able to um, get two additional six-inch figures, one of them being a Bastion figure, and the other being the female Prime Sentinel figure. Now, I don't have the female Prime figure, I don't have the Bastion figure, so they are not going to be included in the countdown of standard X-Men figures. And obviously, the Sentinel would not be in consideration either. And three other figures that are not going to be in consideration are going to be the X-Force 3 pack, which is a shared exclusive between Hasbro Pulse and the Disney Store. Now, the Elite Legend did not order from the Disney Store. I did, however, order from Hasbro Pulse. About a week ago, they said it was going to be arriving early. However, I still don't have it at my doorsteps. So, those three figures are not going to be included in the countdown. Now, this three pack has a little something for everybody. We get Cannonball with legs. We get a more classic looking Domino. And for those of you in the LGBTQ plus community, you get Richter, whom is also Shatterstar's Bay. Now, just looking at these figures, Domino and Richter would be in consideration for my top 10 Marvel Legends of 2021. But I don't have them, so they unfortunately would not be included in Elite Legends Countdown. And we have now come full circle. We're going to go ahead and take these Excalibur figures out of the box. And from left to right, we see the very thick Megan, Captain Britain, and Shadow Cat. The second rendition of Shadow Cat in Marvel Legend form. Now, you can call the Elite Legend a lot of things, but a fool is not one. So all three of these figures are going into consideration for the top ten Marvel Legend X-Men figure of 2021. Now, Elite Legend is not one to beat a dead horse, but we see two lovely ladies that unfortunately have had their curves flattened by the folks at Hasbro. On the left, we see the fan channel exclusive Firestar, and on the right, we see the Red Hot Binary, which was a Walgreens slash EB Games, now known as GameStop Canada exclusive. Thank you to my good friend Daryl Sider for helping the Elite Legends secure both of these because I don't think they've ever come out in the States. At least Elite Legend has never seen them in the wild. Now, since both of these characters were associated with the X-Men, I'm putting them in the countdown. Or at least up for consideration. So that is crazy. 34 comic-based Marvel Legend X-Men characters in the year 2021. One being a HasLab, two baths, two tiers for that HasLab, three box sets, a partridge and a pear tree, 14 brand new characters. And if you were to purchase, if you were to have purchased all of those at retail, suggested retail price, it would have ran you $960. So a little bit under a grand, you could have used that hard earned stimulus to stimulate your Marvel Legends collection in the year 2021. Now, before you, you see 19 figures, and we have to bring it down to 10. So let's go ahead and trim this a little bit. We're going to take a little bit off the top. And now, before you, you see 19 figures that have made the cut so far. We got to trim this down to 10. So we're going to go ahead and remove two figures that are in this picture twice. That is Shadow Cat and Magneto. And they have all come tumbling down behind them. Whew.
Now, instead of putting so much attention and energy into getting the curves flattened on female figures, I feel that Hasbro's design team should put a little bit of emphasis on getting these strong, independent female characters to stand on their own two feet. And now we are down to 16. We just got to remove one more, and we'll be down to the final 15. So let's go ahead and say bye-bye to Firestar. Whoa, did you see that? At number 10 in the countdown, we have a character that made his debut in the Marvel Comics back in 1978. He is a pinball wizard and an adversary of the X-Men and a perfect character to pair with your Excalibur figures. None other than Arcade. I love the white suit and bow tie and look at those platform shoes. This guy is ready for Saturday night. And if he has a fever, he might not pass those Coove protocols. Now at number nine, we have a character that the Elite Legend is a huge fan of. However, I am not familiar with the Age of Apocalypse storyline. But I am, again, a huge fan of Sabretooth. And this is a big hulking figure. And it is an accompanying piece to the terrible Wild Child that came in Wave 1. Now, this is a solid number nine in the countdown. And number eight, we have a character that made her debut in Marvel Comics back in 1983. The leader of the Morlocks, none other than Callisto. And I do apologize, I may have called her Caliban earlier in the video. And this is a beautiful figure. Some of you may want to call the repaint police and say this is the same figure as the Storm figure that came out a while ago. But I am always excited to have a new figure in the collection. So a solid number eight is Callisto. Let me know in the comments what other members of the Morlocks do you want to see next in Marvel Legends form. At number seven, we have a character that Marvel Legends collectors have been asking for for quite a while. And the wait is over. We now have Shadowcat in our Marvel Legends collections. That's right. Kitty Pride's Shadowcat attire. A solid number seven in the countdown. And I do apologize for the pose. I was having some serious jubilee bath anxiety when I was trying to articulate those elbows. So I'm going to have to heat that up a little bit later. At number six in the countdown, we have another brand new character in our collections. It is none other than the shape-shifting hottie. None other than Megan of Excalibur. This is a beautiful figure. Her curves have not been flattened. Very voluptuous, and that hair is quite voluminous. And now let's get some comparisons here. There you see the incredible detail on the hair on Megan, and we see the incredible detail on the hair of Rogue. And speaking of incredible detail, look at that fantastic sculpt work on that X-Men belt. And finally, we have at the number five spot an upgraded Lady Deathstrike. We had her originally in the Toy Biz line, and it was a great figure for its time. However, we were in serious need of an upgrade, and an upgrade this figure is. I'm excited about getting a step closer to completing our Reavers collection. Yes, we did see that there is a brand new Reavers bath coming in 2022. But we're talking about Lady Deathstrike, and this is a very solid number five in the countdown. At the number four spot, we have the love child of Jim Lee and John Byrne, a Weapon X alumnus and former leader of the hand. We have none other than Omega Red. And it is amazing what a simple repaint can do to give a figure new life. And new life it did give this Omega Red because I am so excited to replace the previous version in my main X-Men Villains display. Let me know in the comments, which do you prefer? Do you prefer this updated Omega Red or his predecessor? From the Sauron Build-A-Figure Wave. And at number three, we have a figure that the Elite Legend was very disappointed that he was not a part of the Hellfire Club box set from 2020, but the wait is over. We now have Jason Wingard in our Marvel Legends collections, and we can add him into our Hellfire Club displays. This Wingard figure comes with two heads, as you can see here, 
Now, if you're lucky and you have good friends in the collecting community like the Elite Legends good friend Tanya McHenry up in the Steel City, you have an extra body to place this Jason Wingard head upon. But again, I cannot stress how excited I am to have this figure in my collection. Now, before we get to the final two spots in the countdown, let's take a look at the honorable mentions. From left to right, Cyclops, Binary, Omega Sentinel, Magneto from the Age of Apocalypse Wave, Legion from House Party, and Marvel Girl. All excellent figures. Unfortunately, none of them were good enough to crack Elite Legends' top 10 Marvel Legends of 2021. And now, finally, without further ado, we have number two. And this could have easily been number one in Elite Legends Countdown. However, I fell in love with the figure that we're going to look at in just a moment. <laughs> but I digress. Let's talk about Captain Britain. We received Captain Britain previously in Toy Biz form. That figure had terrible proportions. And when we, when it was announced that we were getting a Captain Britain from Hasbro, I was excited until I saw the final product. I hated that particular figure, and I always longed for a proper classic Captain Britain. And the wait ended in 2021 when he was featured prominently in that three-pack of Excalibur characters. So, a solid number two. Yes, Elite Legends said it. A solid number two in the countdown. None other than Captain Britain. And who do you want to see next from Excalibur? Let me know in the comments. At number one of the countdown, it is none other than Cyber. It, this is a character that the Elite Legend has wanted in his collection for such a long time. And I am so happy to have this finally in my collection. This is going to be displayed prominently amongst my X-Men villains. And it's such a welcome addition to the collection. There is shading throughout the figure. He is big. He is beefy. Would have loved to have some additional hands, maybe an additional head. However, I'm not going to complain. This was part of that beautiful five-pack from Amazon. And I, I can't say enough at how excited I am to have Cyber in my collection. So there you have Elite Legends Top 10 from left to right. We have Jason Wingard, Sabretooth, Callisto, Megan, Cyber, Lady Deathstrike, Captain Britain, Omega Red, Shadowcat, and Arcade. Let the Elite Legend know what you thought about my list. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. You can't do a thumbs down because those commies at YouTube got rid of that feature. If you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you can be alerted to all of Elite Legends' next videos. Check out my Marvel Legends playlist, G.I. Joe Classified Series playlist. Let me know what your top 10 Marvel Legends X-Men related figures are for the year 2021 and keep them comic based. And if you want to add MCU, you can do that too. Elite Legend will engage you in the comments below. And until next time, I want you guys to make sure that you stop purchasing action figure. No, 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 Dave. I wanted you to make sure that you make mine marvel.